What conspiracy theory do you believe in the most? I think some memes are started by businesses as a form of free advertising. The recent Duolingo memes got me thinking more about it. Duolingo wasn't a small app at the time, but it became a lot more popular after the fact. There have been other memes revolving around a particular product brand as well that make me think this is happening on a strategic level beyond some kid thinking ITD be hella funny to do this or that. I'm pretty sure this was happened with the movie Bird Box. It was all over Twitter and other social media before I even heard anything about it from Netflix. That's just a well-made marketing campaign. That people give themselves Reddit gold to make their comment posts seem more important. Edit, thanks for the gold, you unnecessarily hipster. If you had gold on this ITD be perfect. I believe that the company 23N will sell our information to insurance companies and medical companies in the future. Like the CEO was Ann Wojcicki married to Google co-founder Sergey Brin. Edit, Anna Wojcicki and Sergey Brin are in fact not married. Is Ann the sister of YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki? They sure keep the power in the family, don't they? Yes. Truly a great coincidence for them to lead two massive companies. That's actually scary, since most of the DNA companies like that have it in the contract that they can hold it for future use in the company. Imagine if those two combined and Facebook YouTube, leading to Alphabet, had access to your DNA profile. And even if you didn't go to them, if your relatives did they pretty much have your DNA. All those DNA ancestor sites are giving the government your DNA for their record. I mean that's literally how they caught the Golden State Killer, like 30 years later. Just got another dude, also from Sacramento, for a series of rapes in the 90s via the same method last week edit, link here. Oh yay apparently every serial violent criminal from the 90s is hiding away here in Sacramento. The dude was Rapon in Sacramento in the 90s. They got him in FL they just come here to rape, because they know we're gonna open every goddamn window at night to catch that Delta Breeze edit, apologies Floridians, nabbed in Ga. Spoken like a true sack native. If the window isn't open as soon as it gets below the AC setting, you're missing out on valuable cool air. Coca-Cola tested HFCS in place of sugar and found that while the taste was similar, people could tell the difference. They brought out new Coke to cleanse people's palates and waited until as much of the original formula products had been sold as they could. Then they cancelled new Coke and brought back Coke Classic, which was the HCFS version and people didn't have any original stuff left to compare it to. The only reason they made new coke was to act as a buffer so people wouldn't notice the change in ingredients. I absolutely hate HFCS in my drinks. I went to India over the winter, over there almost every soda has cane sugar as the sweetener, and I just can't deal with eating corn as my sugar. There's too much ducking corn in American food. I'll have to find the Twitter thread that documents all the uses we've found for corn and how it's in almost everything we eat. Mexican Coke is made with cane sugar and I can find it in glass bottles in almost every gas station in California. Costco sells it too. Marshmallow doesn't actually produce his own music. My biggest piece of evidence is the creator arcade videos, he speaks and navigates Ableton like someone with only a basic knowledge of music production, he does everything number by number, producers don't do that. You can't just instantly know that sound needs a boost of exactly 1 dB at exactly 1.2 kHz without even listening to the sound first, he randomly pauses every now and then, presumably to be fed lines, and he seems to lack even a basic understanding of music theory, recreating MIDI by randomly clicking in notes with no regard for the key of the song. Someone with the level of skill he demonstrates should not be capable of making radio quality hits. His song Friends with Anne Marie is literally just a stock beat he got from a stock website he just added the kick. That's crazy, can you link to a source? If you have Splice, you can search melodic guitar hooks 95 I mean acoustic groovy and it'll pull up the guitar hook. From Wikipedia, the major lyrics and drum sessions were completed in 30 minutes. Following next 2 hours, they completed the entire lyric session and the whole song was completed in 3 hours. LOL. Holy shit I just played this side by side. Mind blown by the laziness to riches. Not really one single conspiracy theory but I do feel like seemingly, quite often if a big political scandal is breaking, something tends to happen that dominates the news cycle for a little bit. 
a shooting, celebrity controversy, something. That is just basic political game. If something looks bad for political party a then supporters and media of political party a push other news first and search for something bigger. Also supporters of that political party runs to other news to keep their political bias in check. 2. Related to the U.S. military. NBSP, the U.S. government pushed high school football on kids to get them in shape during the Cold War. NBSP, the U.S. government doesn't have free tuition for colleges due to many members of the military joining specifically to get college paid for. It would massively decrease the enlisted count. The U.S. government doesn't have free tuition for colleges due to many members of the military joining specifically to get college paid for. It would massively decrease the enlisted count. People who oppose free college often argue that it would hurt military enlistment, so I don't even know if this is a conspiracy. Just a little-known conflict of interest. The military literally put out a statement saying that tuition-free colleges would hurt their recruitment regime and thereby pose a threat to national security. Realistically the only reason like 40% of the population even goes to college is because the military was like duck it well pay for it after World War II. Free college has been a huge marketing tool of the military for a very long time now. My dog is still living on a farm somewhere, 47 years later. I'd like to think that's what heaven is, you die, you wake up at a farm with millions of animals, and all of a sudden all your pets come running through the mix and jump into your arms. Damn it. This is a conspiracy thread and here you are making me look forward to death. I miss all my pups frown. The recommended amount to use in laundry detergent cups are 30% higher than necessary. Hashtag X200B, edit, thank you stranger for the silver. My very first. The toothpaste commercials show them coating the whole brush in a little caterpillar sized glob of toothpaste, but really you only need a tiny pea sized amount. They also only put foaming agents in soap and shampoo to give the user a tactile sensation, and the amount of suds your soap produces is really mostly just for funsies, so you'll use too much at once, run out sooner, and buy more more often. It's the surfactants that really have the washing properties. Edit, this random toothpaste comment blew up. Weird. Funsies needs to be used more often. Area 51 is just a front that was allowed to become popular in the public eye, but actually has nothing of value. Not saying aliens and bases exist, just saying Area 51 is allowed to be the popular secret base, thing to cover up actual secrets. I must correct my previous statement, Camp David is a retreat, not an emergency location. However, that could also be a front. Also not downplaying what the airmen at 51 do, just saying that what they do now is not likely as top secret as people are led to believe. There was a Reddit AMA with a guy who was verified career CIA. When asked about Area 51, he said it exists to keep you from asking about Area 52 edit. Here's a link, found by a Redditor and link below. Area 51 is just there to make you ignore Area 52, https www.reddit.com rimacomensa 8co3 giamandrubustamantaformercover seeka 3m2g? You'd medium android apatm source share. Not so much a conspiracy theory as a little known fact, because the head of the CIA admitted it, but the USA orchestrated a coup of the Prime Minister of Australia in 1975. Edit, FFS, here are your goddamn sources. Interview with a former American spy that worked at Pine Gap, an American military base in the outback, youtube.com audio recording of a history professor going through public perception of the Whitlam dismissal, abc.net.o independent journalists research into the fall, hosted on The Guardian, but originally published elsewhere, can't find the original link, theguardian.com there are also a number of documentaries and a movie or two on it, I know a few people suggested The Falcon and the Snowman as one that was worth a watch. Wait what? Was it because of Vegemite? I don't know if this is a S or not, but I'm gonna take this opportunity to explain as best I can. The Prime Minister at the time, Gough Whitlam, was trying to make sure that Australia independently mined their coal and sold it to other countries. Other countries, mainly the US at the time did not like this, as they liked their cheap coal. So, the CIA ran an intense campaign to convince the Governor-General to dismiss Whitlam. He was replaced by Malcolm Fraser who, surprise surprise, allowed the US to continue to get its cheap coal. The repercussions of this are still here in Australia, too. The major media outlets still relay lies about what Whitlam did, but have transferred it to whole Labour Party. And Australia's now in severe debt, 
partly due to the fact that we gave away our most powerful resource for practically nothing. Edit largely, partly. Edit OSGOV to vote out, GG to dismiss edit OK since it's been mentioned a couple times and I'd love to have a morning, I recommend watching this video if you want to do some further research. Be warned it is very. Australian humor so it's not for everyone, but I do think it sums up what happened to Whitlam pretty well.